It was in the process of practicing at a medical center in Lagos that I was um, involved with the whole Ebola outbreak. I'm, I think my voice is starting to shake now because I'm remembering everything that happened that day. There was chaos and everybody was scared, not knowing what next. So he said to me, Dr. Ada, um, I'm sorry to inform you, but you tested positive. I looked around where I had been um, placed under isolation. It was a... It was a makeshift building that was abandoned. There was no light. There was, um, there was nobody to talk to. I called my mom on the phone. I told her, Mommy, I just tested uh, positive, but don't worry, I will survive this. The symptoms were excruciatingly painful. I felt like my bones were being crushed. After 15 days at the isolation ward, I was told that my um, blood tested negative to the viral antigen. And that, that was the best news of my life. I felt like I'd given a second chance to live again. I felt like this outbreak should not have taken us by surprise. When there is a virus that has such a very high case fatality rate, that's something that should have our attention. So I thought the best way to educate the public is to let them know that this is what happened to me. So I became a survivor advocate. I had heard about um, um, the American Society for Tropical Medicine and Public Health. At that conference, I met a lot of um, Tulane faculty that had already been involved with research in, in, in Sierra Leone. Over the past few years, we've seen a, a number of viruses emerge that have been really threats to the, the entire public health of the planet. Tulane University has a unique combination of resources for infectious disease research. We have a medical school, world-class primate center, and a school of public health. We're able to do research basically from the beginning to the end developing things like diagnostic tests to actually implementing those in the field. Tulane University, more than just about any school I can think of, has the, the breadth in infectious disease research to really make an impact. Why now? Why do we need to focus on infectious disease and, and fund research now? Because there's no better time. You're racing against viruses that are virulent that do not respect people or boundaries or race or, or where you're from. The viruses don't wait for anyone, so why should we wait for anyone? <laughs>